Hello, greetings, guten tag. Amy Medford with Medford Knife and Tool. We have knives headed to Robert Drano's company in Germany, Sar Tools. He's in Schoenfeld. Uh, greetings, Robert. As always, a pleasure doing business with you. Um, check out, you know what? Our website is not functioning for our direct, uh, factory direct resellers, so let me spell it out for you here. Sar Tools, they are in Schoenfeld, Germany. Um, email is info at sartools.de for Deutschland. Uh, phone number is 490-3379-205-046. If you have any questions, just call us directly at the factory here. We'll give you any information you need. And let's see what we have headed Robert's way. Um, starting on the smaller end of the spectrum, an all Terminator style Micro Petroleum T. Uh, it's hard to maybe catch it on the camera, but these are bead blasted handles. That's what uh, gives it that really nice flat matte finish. So it's an S35 Tumbled Tonto Micro Petroleum T. I believe he has two of those headed his way. This one here is a two tone Praetorian Swift frame lock. So it's aluminum blue anodized handle. A tumbled titanium spring, so half aluminum, half titanium, with an S35 tumbled Tonto blade. We have two slim MIDI Marauders headed his way. Uh, the first one is a reverse tuxedo. It has an S35 PVD drop point blade, PVD hardware and clip to accompany the blade and tumbled handle and spring. That's reverse tuxedo. The second one is a slim MIDI Tonto, S35 tumbled Tonto blade. A very light, subdued flaming on this, no facing. And I know that's kind of nice to a lot of guys uh, that don't want bling. It, it helps to um, kind of mask some of the nicks and scratches. Blue anodized spring. Two full thick MIDI Marauders, black and bronze. So PVD drop point blade, PVD hardware and clip with bronze anodized handles. Almost reverse tuxedo, but not quite. Jackie, you want it more like that? Yeah, I'm just okay. trying to get the clip to show. There we go. There we go. You can see that. And clip. the second MIDI Marauder is a Tonto. So this one's a little bit more classic, uh, blue and silver. So that's a Tonto. On belay here has a subtle violet to bronze fade from the blade down. The grooves have been brushed after the anodizing process to give it that nice contrast. It's got the cool harpoon blade on the on belay. I love that. And that big clip. Mm. Full thick Marauder, uh, I believe uh, Robert has two of these as well. Handles have been bead blasted, so again, they have that nice flat matte finish. S35 tumbled Tonto blade, NP3 breaker, and it has the new style clip. This clip you'll also see on the Marauder H and on the Proxima. The USMC fighter flipper all tumbled. I don't see this, I mean, hardly ever. I like it. I like the all Terminator style on any of our knives. It helps to showcase the knife so that you can see the raw design of the knife. It's just a really good look. Now these two USMC fixed fighters are unique to SAR tools. The first one here is a tumbled blade with black G10 handles. It has the tumbled pommel. You see the tang, it is a full tang and you see that follow all the way through. The handles are lovely and contoured and we had the black hilt to complement the handle. So it is a two-tone, I mean, that is sharp looking. It reminds me of the stripe down the USMC dressed blues. I know the colors aren't there, but it's got that same feel and look. And this one here, I know I'm gonna get multiple requests on this. This was a one-off brown G10 scales. I found these handles. I said, Robert, I think you're really gonna love this. It's gonna go beautifully with the leather sheath. And I know I'm gonna get calls and emails off of that because that is shit hot right there. Just gorgeous. So Robert Dreno at Sar Tools, typically I would say his knives are very um, monotone, they're very tumbled or bonds and tumbled, so very simple, clean, elegant. They showcase the knives really well. Um, the two USMC fixed fighters you definitely want to check out. I know he has multiples of the black and silver, so I hope you can get your hands on some. Guys, thanks for watching the videos. Keep tuned, uh, stay tuned I should say. Today is Flamethrower Friday, should be fun. And until the next time, I'm out.